Isn't that a strange coincidence? No, no, but just for, for everybody watching, like, yeah, what ethics, exactly is ethics, ethics is, study is broadly the idea of like right and wrong, right and like wrong. good and bad, and, and depending on who you ask, you might be like human flourishing. So like, what, what gives you the, the good life? What is that all about? So for a Christian, it might be living in accordance with God's will, or for, for, a, for an atheist, it might be what's beneficial to society, right? If you're a moral objectivist and you believe that ethics is like a real thing, it means you think that there are actually just good and bad things in the world, yeah. right and there's wrong. I don't believe that. Most people's intuitions say that there is such a thing. In my view, it's essentially an evolutionary byproduct. For example, is it just a coincidence that, generally speaking, we think that you have a duty to care for your children, right? You also have a duty to care for your cousin. Yeah. But you probably have less of a duty to care for your cousin than your child. Like, if your child is starving and your cousin is starving, yes. you're going to help the child sure. over the cousin, right? And Absolutely. we think that that is, like, the right thing to do in that circumstance. Is it just a coincidence? that you happen to share proportionally exactly the same amount of genes with the child versus the cousin. You share more genes with your child than with your cousin. You right. share more genes with your cousin yes. than with a distant cousin yes. or a stranger, or then again, even someone in a different country. So taking care of your child. And it just so happens yes. that how much like genetic sharing, ha yeah. how much genetic similarity we have with these people just happens to line up with how much we think we have a moral duty to care about them. Isn't that a strange coincidence?